Now, we know what happened. He said, you sin, gather the prophets of Baal and so forth. He said, gather all Israel unto Mount Carmel and the prophets of Baal 450 and the prophets of the groves 400 which eat at Jezebel's table. He said, you go and get all of the false prophets. Gather them on Mount Carmel. We're about to see who is God. Now you got to see this. Let your senses take in the picture. I can see it in, in my, in, in, I can see this picture of this whole event. I can see as Ahab steadied the horses of the chariot when they drew back as Elijah's finger pointed. Can't you see him? Why didn't the king kill him right there? Because he knew authority when he saw it. And it made him tremble. And he said, now you go and gather all your false prophets. Bring them to Carmel. And listen what the challenge was. So Ahab said unto all the children of Israel, gathered the prophets together and on, unto Mount Carmel. Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long will you halt between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him, Not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I, only remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. And he tells them to bring the sacrifice. He said, you therefore give us two bullocks and not, no kin to me, and let them choose one bullock for themselves, cut it in pieces, lay it on wood, and put no fire under it. And I'll dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under it. And call you on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God that answereth by fire, let him be God. And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. Now I'm asking the 11th hour Viewers, to stay with me here just a moment. Well, more than a moment. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourselves and dress it first. For ye are many and call on the name of your gods, but put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given them. They dressed it, called on the name of Baal from morning even unto noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar. They started jumping around like crazy people. Just jumping around on the altar. Imagine that. They figure they get up on the altar, things will happen. So they're jumping around on all this cut up meat. And they're jumping around on it. They're doing all kinds of ungodly things around that altar. But there was no voice. And they kept on and kept on. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them. He mocked them. We need to begin to mock these false gods. And he said, cry aloud, for he is a god. Either he's talking or he is pursuing or he's in a journey or peradventure. He sleeps. He must be awaked. They cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lancets till the blood gushed out upon them. Now they're cutting themselves. Now they've all went emo yeah, yeah. right in front of him. They're jumping up and down on the altar. They're cutting themselves open. They're doing all kinds, letting their filth and their corruption pour out on the altar. It's obvious they worship Satan. They worship the Lord of filth, the Lord of the flies. They're pouring out their corruption on it. They're doing all kinds of things. One prophet said they were urinating all over the place. They were doing all kinds of stuff, just gushing their filth out. These are baby killers. These are people who offered children. Anyone who could, who could slit the throat of a child on an altar of Baal can do anything. And anybody who can offer child, children and child sacrifice in abortion clinics. I don't care if you're a doctor and your, your car sparkles. I don't care how much it costs. I don't care if, you, if you're driving a quarter of a million dollar Ferrari or a half million dollar Ferrari or a two million dollar car. I don't care what you're driving. If you bought that car with the blood of children and the blood of the innocent, your tires are covered in the blood of the innocent and the Day will come when boom 
the blood of that child will call to God from the ground. The scripture says the blood of Abel cried to him from the ground and the blood of the innocent will cry to him from the car you bought with their arms and legs. It'll cry to him from the house that you live in that you bought with that. The education you paid for for your children was built on the blood of, of a thousand innocent. And you paid for your one child their education with the blood of a thousand unborn. The day will come when that blood will cry from the ground to the Lord. And it's even calling now. What, where, where, where is the ground it calls for? Whatever it bought. It'll call from your cars, your houses, your livelihood, your, your, your lands, your whatever it is. When that blood starts to call, the Lord will come and begin to ask questions. And all your excuses, it's not a child. It's just a blob. Then if it's a blob, why is it growing? And if it's not a child, then why if someone kills someone who's pregnant, they're charged with double homicide? You're a fool. And remember what the Lord said to a fool one night. He said, thou fool, today, this night, your soul will be required of thee. This, this don't work anymore. That old dog don't hunt no more. And so they're gushing their blood upon the altars. They're jumping up on the altars. They're doing everything there, calling on Baal, calling on Baal. But there is no answer. And at noon, listen to this. You might have just got a timeline on something that will happen. When it happens, it's at noon, maybe. That Elijah began to mock them. And said, cry aloud, for he is a God. Verse 28, they cried aloud. They wasn't getting any results, so they took Elijah's advice. They started crying loud. And they cut themselves after their manner with lances, knives, and lances till the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass when midday was past. Now you might have got another timeline that they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. Another timeline. That there was neither voice nor any to answer nor any that regarded. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him. He repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. You just learned the problem. The altar of the Lord has been broken down. Nobody's praying anymore. They quit praying. They started multiplying parking places out in their parking lots, times the seats in their building, and calculated some form of how to fill a church up. But your church can be filled with a bunch of anemic nothings that sit there in the midst, spiritually anemic I'm talking about, to sit there in a service that has no power. They never pray. They couldn't call down fire on a fly. first thing that has to happen is we must repair the altar get the people back to prayer it's obvious what God was trying to do when Larry Lee was on the scene could you not tarry one hour Second Chronicles 7 14 could, he's talking about remember his meetings would start at 7 14 he was obvious he was trying to draw the people back to prayer he was trying to get rid of Baal worship then. He was trying to let people know. But I'm going to tell you something. There are mothers and grandmas that are praying in China. They're praying there in China. And God, I want you to know something. God wants you to know in China that he's hearing every prayer you send to him. 
And there are things happening. There are people praying in Iran. There's people praying in Afghanistan and doing more than just calling out for, for deliverance. They're praying for revival. They're praying for these things. There are people there praying for heads of the Taliban. There's people there praying. There's people with no malice in their hearts that are praying that have every right to be angry and want revenge because some of those have watched their own children die and yet they go to prayer for the very person who killed them. All that blood rests on you, Democrat Party. You're the ones running the show. You drew those people out. You did that. Behold thou fool. 